A new puppy can be an exciting and challenging experience with lots of new things to think about and do. There are many things to consider when bringing home a new puppy and one of these is how you need to groom them to keep them looking fresh and clean whilst maintaining and keeping an eye on their health. This can be an excellent bonding experience between you and your puppy. So in this video, we'll take a deep dive into all you need to know about grooming your new bauble puppy. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bauble Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high-level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. If you've just had your new puppy or adopted a bauble, it's important that you follow a grooming routine. This will help them stay happy and healthy and ensure they are looking the best they can be. Ball balls come in a short coat that doesn't take much effort to keep looking smart. It's important that you firstly brush your ball, ball weekly with a bristle brush. It's best if you dampen the fur down with a spray bottle as this will make sure the brush goes through the fur easier and will also help clean the coat. You should always brush your dog's coat in the direction of the hair growth. This will make it pain free and will also help get any shedding hair out easier. Ball balls can sometimes be known for their strong doggy smell. They should be bathed once a month or when they become smelly and if they get very dirty on a walk, especially in winter. They don't require trips to the groomers for a haircut to keep their coat looking in the best condition. It's important that you buy a good quality dog shampoo as a lot of ball balls do have sensitive skin. It's best to buy an organic or hypoallergenic dog shampoo and never use human shampoo on any dog as shampoos made for us have different pH, which will irritate a dog's skin. Always make sure you wash your dog's undercarriage, legs, paws and tail. You should wash their face with a flannel and never put the hose or water directly over their face. When you're bathing your ball ball, it's a good idea to brush them first before bathing as this will stop the bathtub or shower from getting blocked up with hair. You should regularly clean your ball ball's wrinkles as this is a prime place that traps dirt and moisture. If they're not cleaned, infections can occur. You should clean their wrinkles and folds with a flannel or dog wipe. Once you've wiped them with a damp cloth, you should always dry in between the folds with a dry cloth. It's always a good idea to check your ball ball's mouth, eyes and ears weekly. Many things can be discovered from a dog's ear, for example if they have any allergies. The inside of your dog's ears may look very red and be warm to touch. You'll find that dogs tend to get more ear infections than other animals. It's important that as soon as you notice any issues with your dog's ears or your dog's itching its ears or shaking its head a lot, it could be a sign of an ear issue. Some symptoms to look out for with ear infections include an odour, any discharge in the ear, redness, head shaking, your dog may rub their ears on the floor or any other surfaces for relief and they may scratch their ears a lot more than normal. If you notice any discharge in the ear you should remove it by dipping cotton balls into some warm water or ear solution. Never use any q-tips to clean the ears as this will likely push the wax further into the ear and burst the eardrum and it can cause harm. You should also check your dog's eyes regularly too, as this can tell you about potential health issues. For example, if you notice that their eye whites have turned yellow, this can be a sign of jaundice or liver disease. If your dog's eyes look cloudy, this can be a sign of cancer, an autoimmune disease, diabetes, infection, trauma or cataracts. You should always keep your bauble's eyes clean, remove any eye discharge or wipe around their eyes gently if they have watery eyes. Another area to check is your dog's mouth. You should encourage your puppy from a young age to let you open their mouth and look. This will get them comfortable with you looking and feeling inside the mouth. This will also help if you need to take something they're chewing out of their mouth too. You can also tell a lot from your dog's mouth. For example, if they have pale or white looking gums, it could be a sign of anemia. If your dog ever has pale gums, you should seek veterinary care straight away. It's important to keep your bauble's teeth clean. Puppies start with 28 teeth during the age of 6 to 7 months. They'll start to get their 42 adult teeth. Teething for puppies can be a difficult time for both you and your puppy, so it's a good idea to buy some puppy teething gel to help with the process. This will also help them get used to things being in their mouth. Your ball ball should have their teeth cleaned twice a week to stop plaque and tartar from building up. This will also stop your dog from having bad breath. You should use a dog toothpaste that can be sourced from any pet store or various online retailers. Some will come with a finger toothbrush for you to use, but you can also use a new human toothbrush. Just make sure they don't swallow any of the bristles. The last area you should check for 
good grooming is the paws. You should be checking your bull bull's paws every few days to make sure that there are no issues with their pads. During summer and winter time, particularly in snowy times, you should ensure you wash your dog's paws after every walk. This is because of grit. Grit that's spread onto the roads and pavements can really harm your dog's paws. It should always be washed off and a paw balm can be used to create a protective barrier for their pads. It will also help your dog's paws during the hot weather when walking on the pavements in the early mornings or evenings when it's cooler as your dog shouldn't be walking in hot weather in the daytime. It's a good idea to use a, a paw balm weekly anyway. Paw balms will stop pads from be becoming cracked, dry and tender and it will keep the pads moisturised, soft and healthy. You should make sure that the hair between your bull bull's pads if, is kept short. If it's left to grow, it can become very dirty and cause infections. The last thing to ensure your bull bull's paws are properly groomed is to ensure their nails are trimmed monthly. If you don't trim their nails frequently, they can become overgrown and overgrown nails can cause issues with your dogs like pain and it also puts pressure on your canine's paws and legs which can change their posture. When you can hear your dog's claws tapping on the floor when they're walking, it's time to get them trimmed. If you're trimming them yourself, don't take off too much nail, as they do have nerves and blood vessels in the claw. It's very important that you maintain your bulbul's grooming to ensure they're healthy and happy canines. It's also a great way for you to bond with your canine, getting your puppy comfortable with having their paws, ears and mouths touched and inspected not only helps the bond with you, but also makes them comfortable if they have to take a trip to the groomers or to the veterinarian. If you're following these grooming requirements, you can find issues early and get help for your ball ball before these issues become serious health conditions. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated ball ball videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Ball Ball Show.